Run, Derek. Run, Derek. already but I'm happy to do it again for you congratulations you did a great job and we were so excited to be sitting in front of your sister your brother-in-law and your high school coach so I hope I get to talk to you sometime on the Today Show you did a great job and we're proud of you thank you <laughs> Six-year-old Atlanta native thrilled the hometown crowd by winning the gold in the 400-meter hurdles. Derek Atkins, good morning and congratulations. How you doing? You. you still walking on air? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good right now. <laughs> I bet you are. You were feeling good last night as well. Well, I don't know if you heard the funny story from your sister, but I was at the, at the track and field event last night, and I said I was asking my friend about you, mm -hmm. uh, and a little voice from, from behind me said, "That's my brother." <laughs> yeah. So I was sitting in front of her, her husband, and your high school coach. Yeah. Were any other family members of yours in the in the crowd? Yeah, my brother was there. My brother, and he said he was introduced to you, and um, he didn't know who you were. He just shook your hand real quick and kind of like <laughs> blew you off or something. Oh, that's all right. I won't hold that against him. Yeah. What about your folks? Your parents were in the stands. Yeah, they as well. were. They were in the stands, but they were. Um, they were in another section. It was hard to get everyone in the same section. So. How much momentum, Derek, did you get from having the hometown crowd there? You, you've lived in Atlanta since 1988. It had to be pretty exciting to be racing, yeah. running here. Definitely, definitely. It was a tremendous feeling to be able to, um, to run well at the right time, you know. And, um, you know, I, I never heard a crowd that excited about track and field before anywhere in the world, you know. And um, I, it was just a tremendous feeling. Now, it wasn't such a tremendous feeling in 1992 because right. you failed to make the Olympic team because you came in fourth in the trials. Is that right? right? Yeah. Tell us what happened to you back then. Uh, four days before the Olympic trials, I um, tripped down some stairs. <laughs> I'm kind of clumsy. <laughs> you never but, um, know it watching you in the hurdles. <laughs> and uh, I, I sprained my ankle really bad. And um, it really it really hurt me when I went to the Olympic trials. I wasn't able to make the team, and I didn't really run that well. You know, but, um, you know, I, I just got through that experience, and I kept, kept running, you know, and, and here I am. So for four years, you just stayed focused and really concentrated on Atlanta. Yeah. Inevitably, comparisons have been made between you and Edwin Moses, who, who owned this event for nearly 10 years. Yeah. Um, you have gotten to know Edwin Moses somewhat, and you, in fact, I know he was your idol at one, one point. You right. had a poster of him in your bedroom or yeah. something? Yeah, yeah, What kind of is. Is he? Yeah. What kind of advice uh, has Edwin given you? Uh, Edwin has, he, he's basically just told me bits and pieces here and there. You know, he, do, he doesn't really give up too much information at once, you know, <laughs> because, um, you know, he, he's had secrets and I've read a lot about him and he has given me some advice, but 
I've read so much about Edwin Moses that he really hasn't told me much more than I've read. Right, so, you already know yeah. pretty much everything yeah, about yeah. him. Um, I know that, like Edwin Moses, you're somewhat of a scholar athlete. Uh, yeah. You studied uh, engineering, right, uh -huh. at Georgia Tech, right. specializing in, in biomechanics? Bioengineering Bio or biomechanics. And, yeah. and which is the, the study of how the, the human body works. Did right. that help you in your running at all? Yeah, I think it did help me. I think it helped me a lot in that, um, you know, when you understand what's going on inside of your body, you know, how your heart functions and how your, mus your neur neuromuscular system functions, you know, it helps you uh, as far as your motivation is concerned more than anything else because you know why you have to do certain exercises and certain things to get yourself prepared to run. Well, it was pretty clear that what you studied helped you on the track last night. How'd you celebrate with your family? Uh, I, went, I went back home to my house and I had a lot of family. I had a lot of um, old neighbors from New York who came down to watch the games and it was just a really good feeling. I had, I had a, lot of, a lot of close people uh, at my house and we just had food and we just had a good time. Well, it was so exciting for me to watch it with your family. So tell them all I said hi. I will. And congratulations again. And they asked me to videotape your race because they were so nervous. Yeah. If it doesn't come out. <laughs> I'm sorry, but a lot of people were jumping up and down in front of me, but I tried okay. my best. Anyway, congratulations, and thanks so much for coming in, Derek. All right, thank you. Up next, the 2000.